global warming. We hear about it all the time. Day by day, this falsehood is forced upon the American people. But is it actually happening? And are humans really the problem? What do the facts say? According to John Coleman, founder of the Weather Channel, there is no runaway climate change. The impact of humans on climate is not catastrophic. Our planet is not in peril. And Oleg Sorokin, a senior scientist at Moscow's Shershov Institute of Oceanography, has the same opinion. The latest data say that the Earth has passed the peak of its warmer period, and a fairly cold spell will set in quite soon, by 2012. And the real scientific data seems to agree not only with these men, but also with many other scientists who are refuting global warming. 2007 was predicted to be the hottest year on record. At the end of the year, though, it only tied 2006 as the sixth hottest year. And what about the melting of Arctic sea ice? Wasn't there record melting this past summer and fall? Yes, summer and fall of 2007 did bring record melting, but November of 2007 also saw record refreezing, with 58,000 square miles of ice forming per day for 10 days. And what about carbon dioxide and man's impact on the climate? The truth is, carbon dioxide is responsible for less than 5% of the greenhouse effect, and humans are only responsible for approximately 3% of carbon dioxide emissions. And here's another thing to remember. Just because temperatures in one area may be getting warmer, that does not mean that that warming is occurring globally. Las Vegas, for instance, experienced its hottest year on record, while South America had one of its coldest winters ever observed. So is global warming really happening? The evidence, just a small amount of which has been shown here, doesn't seem to show this. So what should we really do? Lord Christopher Monckton, a UK climate researcher, stated, Climate change is a non-problem. The right answer to a non-problem is to have the courage to do nothing. But how can the American people, particularly America's children, have the courage to do nothing when they are constantly being frightened by teachers and leading citizens, especially politicians, who tell them that the world is in great danger? And with all this data against global warming, why are people believing this myth? The people of America believe this myth because they are being scared into believing it. What are the children supposed to believe when Al Gore tells them that within their lifetimes, if things aren't fixed, our Earth will be devastated by global warming? Don't be scared into believing a lie. Don't let your children be scared into believing a lie. Teach your children to fight for the truth. Yes, even teach them to create a clean environment, but teach them to do it for the right reasons. And don't scare them into believing something that is not true. Mostly, teach them to deal with the real problems and not worry about falsehoods such as global warming.